Hi, Simon here from Gold Coast Solar Power Solutions. Today we have an ABB Uno inverter, and you can see this one's coming up on screen, alarm EO49 internal error. Now, the EO49 is, as it says, an internal error with the inverter. It's a, uh, an error in the AC feed forward circuit inside the inverter. Now, as you can see, the inverter is just going through a reboot procedure here. It's trying to uh, start up again and to see if that error is cleared. So if your ABB Uno inverter is coming up with an issue like this, uh, it is, as I said, an internal fault, which is not something that you can uh, do much about. What I'd recommend doing is trying to reboot the inverter and seeing if that fixes it. Because uh, sometimes it can be a bit like a computer, a simple reboot can sort it out, an issue like this. So it's always important if, you, if you're going to shut the system down to follow the shutdown procedure, which should be something like this over here. Turn off the solar supply main switch, which is located in the switchboard, or inverter AC isolator if there's one present. We've got one present here. So this one here, inverter AC isolator. So we're just gonna throw that off. And then it says, turn off the PVRA DC isolator located at the inverter. So it's just over the other side here. And we're just gonna throw that one off. And we'll wait for the inverter to go completely blank. See, it's telling us it's missing the grid. It doesn't see the grid connected anymore. And you see that's just uh, turned off altogether there. We'll wait a few moments and we'll turn it on. Now with uh, starting these systems back up, it's just important, well it's, it's not as important uh, the uh, startup procedure as it is the shutdown procedure. So what we want to do is just turn everything back on. So we'll just turn off on the PVRA DC isolator, then we'll turn on the solar supply, well the inverter AC isolator in our case. Uh, for you it might be the solar supply main switch in your switchboard. So we'll just turn back on the PVRA DC isolator here. And you can see some lights coming up on the inverter there. And it's important we turn on the inverter AC isolator again or the solar supply main switch. And what we'll do is we'll just wait for the inverter to try starting up again. And we'll see if that error clears or not. Now, if after you do try rebooting the system and it still comes up with that EO49 error, it does sound like it's going to uh, um, require repair or uh, I'd recommend if it's still under warranty get in contact with ABB or a local uh, ABB service agent and uh, one, of things, one of the things they'll need is some information off the data plate which can be found on the right hand side of the inverter here you can see the model of the inverter we got the serial number we can manufacture and stuff like that this information that it's important for them to to uh, check out and uh, make a warranty claim. So we're just seeing here, it's still in the startup procedure. We're trying to reboot, and we'll see what it comes up with. Checking grid. We're doing a, a grid countdown here. So we just wait patiently for that. Here we go. The pointy end of the countdown. Here the relay is pulling in there and testing. And you see it's come up with the EO49 internal error again. So this one's definitely going to have to be fixed under warranty by ABB. So if you're on the Gold Coast or South East Queensland area, Gold Coast Solar Power Solutions can certainly help with an issue like this. If you're somewhere else, I recommend getting in touch with your local solar power experts or contacting ABB directly. Thanks for watching this video, I hope it's been helpful for you.